Hello, welcome back for the second video out of four for our discussion on tail rotor emergencies. The second one we're going to be discussing is loss of tail rotor drive or thrust. This is commonly referred to as the easiest one to understand conceptually because the main primary factor in this emergency is when thrust stops, uh, the production of thrust stops. This can happen for uh, a number of varying reasons. Uh, it could be a maintenance problem, it could be a mechanical problem, it could be an extracurricular problem if you run into something or back into something. Uh, the end result, however, is that the tail rotor cannot produce thrust anymore. Uh, as discussed in video number one, we have a tractor type tail rotor. All that means is that it, a tractor pulls. A tractor pulls, it pulls the nose of the helicopter to the left by pulling the tail right. That starboard thrust vector is very important to understand when discussing if you have a loss of tail or thrust because if you no longer thrust in that direction, the nose of the helicopter will violently snap to the right depending on your airspeed. The slower you are, the more violent the nose will snap. So because of that inherent design, the tractor type tail rotor, it means that if, the, if it's a maintenance issue, for example, and the tail rotor detaches from the vertical pylon, because that thrust vector is starboard, the tail rotor will physically fly away from the helicopter. There are many mishaps where this is documented, uh, so you don't necessarily have to worry about the tail rotor impacting the vertical pylon or the tail boom or even the main rotor. Additionally, there's a couple of aerodynamic properties that will assist us. Uh, the vertical pylon has uh, a cambered fairing and that in combination with the vertical pylon will assist with aerodynamic anti-torque properties at higher airspeeds to assist the pilot uh, in the process. However, uh, it should be noted that auto rotation is inevitable. You're not going to be able to fly this EP to the ground. Uh, you have to secure engines because without, uh, without anti-torque, you're not able to pull torque and maintain controlled flight.